All right, today we are going to be making some repairs to the JLB Racing 21101, otherwise known as the Cheetah. There was an earlier model that was actually called the Cheetah, basically the same platform, a different top, and upgraded versions. Made a couple of ones over the years. This is the 80 amp version. It's like the Gen 2 first edition type. Then they came out with the 120 amp, which I have a 120 amp ESC that should be arriving in a few days, and we're going to upgrade this sucker to that. Um, I think with those you can run 4. S, or with that maybe 6S and then you can do 4S. And I'm not sure. I've been running 3S on this since I got it uh, so far. But I think I think this one will do 4 and I'll have to check on the other one. But anyway, the point is common problem this guy right here. You land on the front in those band. You can still drive for a while like that but at some point it's going to either break and fall off all the way or it's kind of wonky so it's starting to get wonky with the steering I kept having to adjust trim and whatnot and I, I think you probably have to do something with this but anyway so I had no idea where to start but I started looking at it and realized that's just one long screw that comes through so here's a tip if there's two of something and one's broken and if it's something, if it's like a bolt or a screw, that you, you may not have to get the actual direct part from the manufacturer. What I did was I removed the one that was still in good shape. I'm not sure if this is focusing right. Apologize if it's not. I removed the one that was in good shape, took it down to my local Ace Hardware with uh, helpful hardware folks. And after about 15 minutes of digging, he finally came up with a suitable replacement that had the right, supposedly the right threading and it's the most exact length only difference is it's Phillips instead of the little tiny square connectors that they have on these another tip is get you a precision tool kit got this from Amazon, or not Amazon, uh, Home Depot and it wasn't too expensive and it's got an assortment of all kinds of little guys in there <clears throat> works pretty good for the size you need for your car plus it's got this uh, flexible arm here so if there's something that's down underneath and you can't quite get the angle to it no matter how you twist things around that'll allow you sort of to go around corners and still be able to tighten it up um, so anyway you get your part go to Ace and if you're lucky enough you can get your repair that same day rather than having to order a screw or a bolt from China and wait two months to get it. So we're going to attempt this repair with that. Okay, I need to reuse that piece. There, that was the ticket.
a nut because again I had to reuse that part. Would have been a good idea to go ahead and get the nuts that come with the bolts that I just bought because those would then be replacements for these pieces just in the event that one got screwed up. So yeah. Mental note. <coughs> when getting a part, get the parts that go with it. Okay, moment of truth here. See if this is going to work. So that has to go. Oh, yeah. I do believe that's going to fit. All the time getting this crap together, I could have done it by hand already. So. <laughs> but this is a lot easier in your wrist. Just don't go all the way. And tighten the rest. Awesome.